this particular course has suddenly taken off. We've had to put extra ones on this year. Um, I think as a trust, Hull and East Yorkshire were one of the first trusts that did what we call nurse nurse pegs. We've been doing nurse nurse pegs for nearly 20 years and we were one of the first trusts that actually did that. Then we introduced the MDT process which is what we discussed throughout the day. We pick the patients properly, we make sure it's the right patient for the right procedure and sometimes not having a peg is the right thing to do and I think that's what we discussed throughout the day. Sometimes it's the easiest thing to do but it's not always the right thing to do. That's the focus of the morning, it's to make them think a little bit outside of endoscopy and a little bit what's going to happen next, what happens before the patients get to endoscopy. After lunch we um, show them how to do a peg from start to finish using one of the trainees and we talk them through it so that they can see it step by step um, and then throughout the afternoon they all get a chance of putting a peg in they all get a chance of scoping if that's what they want to do because sometimes that's not what they're here for but it does help them understand how difficult it is for an endoscopist to get into the right position to make their life a little bit easier. Every person takes a different role throughout the afternoon so they will be the person who does the abdominal end, they might be the endoscopist, they'll be the person that holds the snare to grab the wire so they, they experience every single role of the PEG procedure. In terms of nurse endoscopists, they'll have the same courses as any endoscopist. Um, but in terms of nurses, I think we're quite unique as a trust, really. That's a unique course. I don't think anybody else does anything similar. There is another place that does pegs, but they don't, do, they don't cover as much as, as we do here. And the feedback that we get from these courses is, is really, really good.